Today we're going to be taking a look at dividing some larger numbers. All right, and so today's lesson is um, entitled Dividing Tens, Hundreds, and Thousands. Okay, we're going to be dividing multiples of 10, 100, and thousands. All right, so uh, let's take a look at our first problem here. Our first problem um, is going to use some of this information. Dustin is packing apples into gift boxes. Each gift box holds four apples, right? So we're making gift boxes. Each of them are holding four apples. Well, what if Dustin had 120 apples, 120 apples, and he's going to be dividing them into gift boxes that are only four apples. So his division problem would be 120 divided by four. Okay, and we're going to find out what that equals. Now, if you remember back when we were multiplying by tens, hundreds, and thousands, we looked for that basic fact, and then we multiplied. So we're going to use the same type of strategy. I'm going to look here, and I'm going to look for a basic fact, and then I'm going to divide. So I know that 12 divided by 4 is a basic fact. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay, 12 divided by 4 is 3. And here I have this one zero left over here. I'm going to put that zero over here onto my quotient. So really what we're doing in the background is we're doing these 12 tens. I have 12 tens and I'm dividing that into four groups. I'm going to get three tens, which is 30. But the shortcut is we're going to look at those zeros. All right. So same thing. Let's say Dustin, instead of 120 apples, let's say he had 1,200 apples. If we had 1,200 apples to put into gift boxes, we would be doing that same or a very similar division problem, 1,200 divided by four, four apples in each gift box. I'm still going to use that same basic fact. 12 divided by four is still three, but now instead of 12 tens, I'm talking about 12 hundreds here. I'm going to have 300 as my answer. I have two zeros over here in my 12. I'm going to put two zeros here on my quotient. Okay, so let's try a couple other problems. Let's say Dustin had, uh, let's say he had 280 apples. We're going to divide that into four. Again, I'm going to look for my basic fact here 28 divided by four. 28 divided by four is seven. And I'm going to put that one zero there because four times seven is 28. 28, 280 divided by four is 70. Same thing if I had 2,800 divided, oops, divided by four. I'm going to look at that basic fact. And I'm going to get 700 gift boxes if I had 2,800. Apples. What if I had 28,000 apples and I was making gift boxes of four? Same basic fact 28 divided by four is still seven, and now I'm going to have three zeros in my quotient. So 28,000 divided by four is going to be 7,000. Okay, let's try just a few problems that don't have to do with Dustin and his apples. What if I had this problem? 4,000 divided by 5. 4,000 divided by 5. Well, I know that 4 is not divisible by 5, but if I go one more place value over, I know that 40 is divisible by 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So here, 40 divided by 5 equals 8, and I'm going to have two zeros to put at the end of my quotient. I'm not going to do this zero. That's part of my 40. I'm going to do the zeros on the outside of my box. That's why it's good to put the box around so we don't mess up and put too many zeros in our answer. Okay, same thing if I had 320 divided by 8. 32 divided by 8 is 4. So 320 divided by 8 is 40. Okay, it's a very simple process. You're going to look for those basic facts. What if I had something like this? 420 divided by something equals 60. 
420 divided by something equals 60. Well, again, I want to look at that basic fact, 42. My answer is 6. So I would have to think, well, what times 6 is going to equal 42? That's 7. I've got a 0 over here. I have my 0 over there. And my answer is fine. I can fill that in that way. Okay, so you're going to look and work on some of these problems today um, on your CAMI pages.